Are you or a loved one considering your different retirement options? Or have you thought about a continuing care retirement facility? What does that even mean? What does it look like? And what sort of care does it entail? Most important, how expensive? Dinero, how much is it to live in a continuing care facility? Hey guys, I'm Lucas Smith, your local real estate expert right here in North Orange County. So let's delve really quick into the benefits and solutions that are offered for our seniors and their families when it comes to considering continuing care. And why right here in Orange County, we have some, some of the preferred and premium choices for us aging individuals so you can get a supportive and enriching environment for your golden years. Please note, disclaimer time. Nothing I say here is an endorsement for any particular facility. I'm only speaking from my only limited experience of these facilities, limited because I haven't been in one, I have helped people move into them, and everything expressed here is an opinion. So here's the challenge. We know as we age for each of us, it comes with a unique set of challenges, especially concerning healthcare and lifestyle changes and things like long-term care or long-term health concerns. One of the big uncertainties for all of us seniors and soon to be seniors is the uncertainty of future health care needs and the potential to require higher level of cares as we get older. You know, this uncertainty can lead to stress, anxiety, and it can for sure cause some difficult decisions about where to find the best care while maintaining the highest quality of life and, of course, our independence. Okay, so first let's talk about health care needs. As we age, our health care needs will often become more complex due to various factors such as age-related illnesses, chronic conditions, and decreased mobility. And these constantly evolving healthcare needs may require specialized medical care, regular checkups, physical therapy, and sometimes assistance with some of the basic daily activities of living, such as bathing, getting dressed, medication management, not to mention being able to go out and do the things that we want to do. And having immediate access to healthcare professionals and facilities that cater to seniors becomes crucial for maintaining overall health and well-being. I'd like to address relocation stress because let's face it, when we're talking about moving to a care facility or transitioning to an assistant living arrangement, this can cause a lot of stress for us and for our families. Often it involves adapting to new environments, routines, caregiving structures, which can be emotionally and physically taxing. I mean, let's face it, just the upheaval of leaving familiar surroundings in your home, in your neighborhood, your neighbors, your social circles, those can lead to feelings of disorientation, anxiety, and loneliness. So for sure, make sure to address these things and have a conversation with your loved ones about it before you decide to make a move. Let's talk a little bit about the financial considerations. Just to be quite frank, my experience of most continuing care facilities is they can be quite expensive, sometimes running into thousands and thousands of dollars a month, depending on the level of care that you're going to need. Many also offer options where you start out at a lower level of care and it's tiered up, where you start out at a lower level of care because you're more independent, and then they'll offer you the option to move up within their facility to a higher tier or level of care as your needs increase. Whichever option you're considering, please consider the financial aspects carefully and look at the affordability for you. Look at the affordability of the facility you're looking at, see what insurance coverage you have that currently covers it, what retirement savings you have, and what long-term financial planning you've put in place to help manage your healthcare expenses effectively. Nobody wants to go broke getting old. Next, I'd like to talk about one of the biggest things that impacts seniors when they move into a managed care facility, and that's feelings of isolation and loneliness. You know, some seniors may experience heightened feelings of isolation and loneliness as they age, especially if they live alone or have limited mobility or lack of regular social interactions. That trip to the bingo hall on Wednesday is important. You know, often changes of family dynamics, such as kids and grandkids getting older and moving away, or the loss of a loved one can impact this greatly. And all of these factors can contribute to social isolation. And isolation, it's been proven, can have detrimental effects on our emotional and mental well-being and lead to such things as depression, anxiety, and a decline in the overall quality of life. Okay, enough doom and gloom. Let's talk a little bit about the benefits of continuing care or managed care communities that they can provide and many effective solutions to these challenges. Here, we'll explore the benefits in detail and we'll understand how they can positively impact the lives of residents and their families. First, we'll talk about different comprehensive care options. Now, I know we've talked a little bit about them already and there's 
many, many community care facilities out there that they offer a wide range of care options that can be tailored to your individual needs. From independent living to assisted living and skilled nursing care, this comprehensive approach assures that residents receive the level of care that they require at that time in their life. And that's what's critical without the need to have to keep constantly moving to new facilities or move elsewhere. These communities also provide specialized services like memory care, rehabilitation facilities, ensuring that residents are supported at every stage of aging, no matter what happens. Like I said, they have tiers all the way from independent living with minimal assistance, all the way up to more intensive care as needed, depending on what you need. But we'll talk a little bit about aging in place. You know, one of the greatest benefits of these facilities is that we have the ability to stay in one place. As we age, we can continue to live in the same community, keeping the same circle, social circles intact, and feeling that sense of belonging as our care requirements change. You know, remaining in the same facility or familiar surrounded, surrounded by familiar faces and understanding caregivers allows residents who live in these facilities to maintain emotional stability and it reduces the disruption and stress associated with moving frequently or having to move at all. Because let's face it, nobody likes moving. I'm a real estate agent. I don't like moving. I want to talk about something that's near and dear and really important to all of us. Peace of mind for families. That's right. We don't want our families to worry about us. So one of the most comforting aspects for families is the assurance that their loved ones are receiving high quality care and 24 seven support in a safe and nurturing setting. Family caregivers often encounter difficulties trying to balance their personal lives with caregiving responsibilities. And by opting for a community care or a managed care facility, families can access professional care and support, which enables them to cherish those meaningful moments with their loved ones without the persistent concern of caregiving duties. This sense of security and knowing that their loved ones are in capable hands and are thriving brings immense peace and reassurance to families. You know, one of the great things about comprehensive care communities is that they're engaging and they encourage an active lifestyle from their residents. Continuing care communities go above and beyond in providing a plethora of amenities and activities to keep residents busy. These communities are dedicated to fostering a vibrant and dynamic atmosphere that encourages residents to lead fulfilling lives. I mean, oftentimes residents are virtually spoiled with their choice with an array of amenities and things to do that cater to diverse interests and preferences. There's often many social gatherings and community events that are an integral part of these communities. And they provide residents with a chance to connect with neighbors, make new friends, and create lasting memories together, offering such a diverse and stimulating environment. Continuing care communities empower residents to remain active, engaged, and connected, and they enhance their overall being and quality of life. Often, continuing care communities provide financial stability. That's right, even though there's cost involved in these communities, they provide a transparent fee structure that clearly outlines the cost ahead of time, the cost associated with all services and amenities, and this transparency allows us as individuals to understand and plan for future financial commitments effectively. Additionally, some also offer financial planning assistance and they support in guiding residents and families through the intricacies of budgeting for healthcare expenses and long-term care requirements. This proactive approach often helps residents and families make more informed decisions about their finances, assuring that they can afford the care that they need without any unexpected financial strain. And by providing reliable financial guidance and support, continuing care communities aim to alleviate concern about future health care costs. None of us wants to go broke staying healthy. This allows the residents to focus on enjoying a fulfilling and worry-free lifestyle in their new environment. I'm sure if you're considering continuing care, you're asking, is this the right move for me to consider moving to continuing care? It's a significant life choice. And let's be honest, it requires careful consideration. You, for instance, have to consider your current st health status, your potential for future health care needs. And if you anticipate needing more assistance with daily activities or medical care as you age, a community with various level of care might be suitable for you. For sure, evaluate your social preferences, lifestyle goals, and if you enjoy being part of a community or participating in group activities, and what these facilities have to offer to you. 
Having access to on-site facilities like fitness centers, cultural programs, golf, these communities can offer an enriching environment and for sure review your financial situation and your savings and your long-term care insurance options to determine if you can afford the associated costs associated with these communities. Take a moment, think about your long-term goals and plans for aging, and if you're planning on moving to a care facility, one of these managed care facilities can provide you peace of mind, knowing that you have access to various levels of care within the community as your needs change. Finally, consider the location and culture of the community. Some individuals prefer to stay close to their current neighborhood or close to current family members. Well, others may be relocating to a new area with specific amenities in mind. Talk to current residents as they attend these community events and get a feel for the atmosphere and lifestyle offers. In conclusion, ultimately the decision to move to a continuing care retirement community depends on your individual needs and preferences and your financial situation. Take the time to research visit some different facilities, and consult with your financial advisor and healthcare professionals. Involve your family members in the decision-making process to ensure that you make an informed choice for your future living arrangements. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you or your loved ones are considering retirement living options, we for sure want you to consider and we encourage you to explore the benefits and services offered by these communities. Remember, your golden years should be golden, and they should be filled with joy and comfort and peace of mind. Now, if you like this video and found it informative, please just watch the next video or share and subscribe. And, of course, always feel free to leave your comments or questions below. Now, if you need any further help or have any more questions, or you want me to be your concierge to help me move to one of these facilities, give me a call, 714-844-1580. And I'd be happy to be your personal guide on the journey to your new home. I'm Lucas Smith, broker owner of Sell My Home Real Estate. Until next time, happy house hunting.